Hi, I'm Rocco from Rocco's Smokehouse, and we're proud to sponsor this video. My name is James Cameron. No, not this James Cameron. This James Cameron. I grew up in Coney Island, Brooklyn, New York. I now live in Virginia. But before all of that, I had another passion. I loved Rolls Royces. Well, a few years ago, I accomplished my dream. My purchase, a 1985 Rolls Royce Silver Spur. And that's where the nightmare began. But it was through trial and error that I discovered that there was a way to actually purchase these cars and maintain them that could save the buyer of future cars like this thousands of dollars. Now that is the sound of power. Let's take a trip. Come on. Come along with me. I have now taken that knowledge and will now share it with you. My name is James Cameron, and I want to welcome you to the Rolls-Royce and Bentley University Buyer's Guide. Let's start class. Welcome class. We've got a special edition happening. A number of you emailed me and said, is it possible to get extra credit for the summer? Because of course we kind of shut down and we were opening up again in September. So since many of you, and they were many, who said they would like some extra credit over the summer, I decided to go along with you. So we're here in front of Danny's Glass, located here in Motown Road in Williamsburg, Virginia, but they also have a number of other locations as well. And what we're gonna do today, we have a 1989 Rolls Royce Silver Spur, just like mine, except this one's an 89, mine's an 85. And what we're going to do, we're actually going to show the replacement of a cracked windshield. So with saying that, come on class, let's go in. We're inside Danny's and I want to introduce you to the person that makes it all happen. Without her, the place just falls apart. I want to introduce you to Kelly. How are you doing, Kelly? I'm good, thank you. Kelly is the person who actually schedules all the work that's actually done here. So as soon as you walk in, this is the person that you want to deal with. So tell them a little bit of what you do. Um, usually try and greet them with a very good smile. Um, customer service is, is big with us for here, for mm -hmm. me. Um, Usually I'll quote the customer if they prefer to go through their insurance. Uh, we can handle all the insurance information for them. Uh, file the claim. Um, usually it takes about 45 minutes to an hour here in the shop. We do offer mobile service. Mm -hmm. We don't charge any extra for the mobile service as well. So. Okay, so that's good to know. So there's a number of locations uh, for Danny's. Yes, sir. But I'm going to try and make them all come to you because one, it keeps you employed. And number two, <laughs> number two, you're just so good. Oh, thank you. Come on, class, let's go in the back and let's go and check out the glass being fixed. And we're gonna meet Bobby. Bobby is the individual who's gonna be doing the install. Bobby! Morning. Morning. How are you this morning? How's it going, man? It's going. Good to see you Good again. Good to see you too, sir. You're going to be working on this 89 uh, Rolls Royce Silver Spur. Yes, sir. And you're going to be changing the glass. Yep. Uh, which the... is usual. I mean, it's glass and it's a car, so yep. it's going to get cracks. Oh, yeah. And it happens, yep. especially with construction and things oh, like yeah. that. You go yep. over. That's why my father said, never drive behind a truck. Uh, yeah. Well, that's <laughs> not just the trucks you got to worry about these days. It's exactly. all the SUVs and everything else, too. Exactly. So you're going to actually take off the glass, and then you're going to put the new one on. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. And uh, how are you going to start? Uh, first off, I got to get the trim off. The uh, trim on the inside has got to come down because it's screwed on the outside. Mm -hmm. uh, I got to take the clips off the bottom. 
and then we'll just cut it out and just do my normal procedure. Okay, well listen, I'm gonna get out of your way. All right, sir. Because you're on the clock. All right. <laughs> and uh, we're gonna just film you doing your thing. All right. Thank Not you very much. Thank I appreciate you. it. Thank you. What we're looking at, class, is the first process in fixing of the windshield. Of course, the first thing is taking off the windshield, and before you can do that, you have to take off the wipers. This is Josh Wicks from Wicks Rods and Customs, and he is in process of doing that. The second step, class, is for Josh to take off the covers for the air filters. Just to get to the screws that are in here. Get that out of the way. And then you got two Phillips screws. You might want to go on the other side. Unless you can get it. That you don't want to drop because they are very small. <laughs> Which I just dropped. That's alright. And then that should loosen up the side moldings. And as you can see, you took them two screws out and the side moldings came right out. And then the top just comes right off. As you can tell, there's also a rubber there you got to be careful of where you do not rip it. And you don't want to make sure you don't want to bend the trim on this because they are hard to straighten back up. And then you come over on the passenger side, do the same procedure. Taking your time, that way you don't bend it. There's one side completely out. And there's the chrome molding off. Lay it over here. That way it doesn't get bent while you're in the process of doing the rest of the glass. And you pull the rubber off and you lay it over here with it too. That way it'll keep its shape, which it should because of the age. And then you pull these black stops off. As you notice, I don't use power tools on these. Uh, normally, on a normal standard car, I use a screw gun. Uh, but with these, it's being old, they're gonna be brittle. So I use a regular screwdriver. It may take a little bit longer to do. But I know nothing will be broke. I got two different length blades. These are made from equalizer. They're easy to use. Now in this particular case, there's urethane around the corner down here. You don't want to pull out and damage anything, so you kind of cut around it. 
where you can get your knife around it. And as you can tell, it's starting to come loose already. Same procedure on the other side. What I'm doing is cutting the urethane away from the glass to where you can remove the windshield. People use different tools, different ways of doing things. All right, the windshield's loose. Shield on the rack somewhere where it's out of the way. <clears throat> now this particular one, sometimes I'll use my my razor knife. To trim the old urethane completely off. Now in this particular one. Well, I have what we call a scraper, and all it is is just a sharp tool to where you can trim the sides without cutting the inside garnish molding. You just take your time with it. Just making sure I'm getting all the extras. That way nothing's in my way. Or you want to look to see if there's any rust, uh, which I do see some, but what I use is I'll use a primer, which has got a rust prohibitor in it. Uh, Cause I got to prime the glass and the body. It's too bad, it's a soap. I'm going to prime the glass. It's a uh, beta prime. It's uh, we because the urethane we use is an X, uh, XP uh, 30, which is a high dense quick cure urethane. And this has also got like a rust prohibitor in it, and it's black, so you really you'll know when I put it on the body what it's going to look like. What's up, man? What's you by yourself? Which one? Oh, okay. Mind if I take a look in here real quick? Yeah, go ahead, man. Now, if you notice, I switched over to a smaller dauber, which makes that way I don't make a big mess on the inside. That way, I don't drip over on anything, especially the interior, because the stuff will stain. This is going to help the rust because it is a rust prohibitor also in this chemical. And if I scratched it or any way, you'll cover the scratches. Same process on the other side. It takes a little bit longer when you use a smaller dauber because it doesn't hold as much as the big daubers. This process for this, it shouldn't take no more than 10 minutes to prime it, unless you got one that's really full of rust. All right, that's the end of that process.